Hi everybody, Skipper Daryl here and welcome to a special edition of the Onboard Life YouTube video channel. Today I'm going to take you on a little ride. I love talking about our boat. Why not is a 1988 45 foot Nelson trawler, sometimes called a Thompson Nelson trawler. She's different from most of the liveaboard boating and cruising boats out there in that she is a single engine boat. She has a single Caterpillar 3208 normally aspirated engine that puts out 211 horsepower. There is a friendly debate between cruisers about whether you should have one or two engines. People like the idea of having a backup engine and that's a very legitimate consideration. But we're very happy with why not as a single screw. The Cat 3208 is a tested and reliable engine and we have no qualms about her performance at all. But newish single engine live aboard boats that aren't sailboats is unusual. There is another thing about why not that is different. She doesn't have a bow thruster either, so all of the maneuvering is through vector thrusting of the single screw. Now, I don't know if vector thrusting of a single propeller engine is a valid term or not. Jet skis use it to describe how they maneuver. I think it's a good way to describe how I pilot my boat. Got, I, so, that's my story, backwards? and I'm sticking to it. The maneuver in a single engine boat most people are skittish about is docking, especially shoehorning your vessel into a tight squeeze on a facing dock. I'm going to show you how I do it. This is raw footage I shot to use in a video on this channel back in 2016. We are at the Municipal Marina at St. Petersburg, Florida. We had come down from Tarpon Good. Springs, Florida that day. The conditions were calm with light intermittent rain throughout the journey. We are just pulling away from the fuel dock to head to our space on the facing dock, which I could see from the helm was tight. By the way, as you listen to the background sound of the video, the clanging noise you hear is my wedding ring on the steel steering wheel. Also, the wavy lines in the video are caused by camera vibrations. So, we have pulled away from the fuel dock. If you look at the bottom edge of the frame, you will see that wicket sticking up. That is our anchor pulpit. And Lisa's down on that fore deck also preparing lines for docking. The facing dock, which is the marina's transient dock, is to our right. At this point, I can clearly see the space that we're going to be heading to. And by the way, if you're a boater and you haven't been to St. Petersburg yet, you have to go. It was an awesome destination. We were there three times total in 2015 and 2016. Loved every minute we were there. Is this Robert? Yeah, sure it is. Can you meet us down at the transient dock there? We're going to grab that space. How about if we stick in that hole out there? We'll be out in the momentum. Roger that. That's what I'm waiting for, yeah. Okay, vector thrusting. The whole idea of vector thrusting is that I am just going to use short bursts of power to make the stern move. Every boat has what's called a pivot point. It's usually a third the distance back from the bow of the boat. What vector thrusting does for me is actually get my boat to spin more or less, on that pivot point. And I'm going to take advantage of that. All right, see that little red pocket trawler with the, the red hull and the white top? There's the space, and there's a big cruiser. That's the space we're going to be going for. I figured it's about 60 feet long, and our boat, including the dinghy, is 48. Again, so Robert. I have five or six feet on each end. That was just a look-see pass. Well, they need to learn to get their boats in there tighter. <laughs> For those of you cruisers who have, been, who have ever been to Coin Jock Marina, you know what I'm referring to. They have a really long transient dock, long facing dock, and they get the boats in squeezed in so tight that you actually have parts of boats anchor pulpits hanging side. over the rear decks of the boats in front of them. That's not the case in St. Petersburg. They don't do that. 
You ready with the midship, babe? What? You ready with the midship? Yes. Okay. Why not has a full walk around deck, so Lisa's down on the port side of the boat, ready to handle the lines. She's also going to be paying special attention to the port quarter, the rear of the boat, to make sure I can clear the, that small pocket trawler as I go past it. So at this point, I'm using the transmission more than I'm using the throttle. Yeah, plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room, he says. All right. There's that little pocket trawler. And there's the space. My strategy is that I'm going to aim the boat to go directly into the space at a 45 degree angle with the bow uh, meeting the dock more or less about a third the distance back from the front of the space. In other words, from the anchor pulpit of that cruiser. Robert is standing pretty much where I'm aiming, though I am going to go a little bit to his left. Actually, a little bit to his left. I just said that. And I'm going to be ready to throw the boat into reverse and give it some throttle to stop it. There you can hear the engine a little bit. Coasting, getting closer. There we go, reverse again. My stern clear. Full stop. That sound you hear is me bringing the wheel all the way over to the right. And I've just put it into forward gear just a little bit. I'm just nudging the transmission to create just a little bit of thrust against the rudder, which is swinging the stern and bringing the bow around. Now that's full reverse, just a little bit. And that brings the, the rest of the boat in line with the dock. I'm in neutral. there so everything went really really well i was very happy with that docking it went very smoothly and for those of you who are watching this video who think they might want to get a boat and they're just completely and you're just completely discounting the idea of getting a single engine boat don't be afraid of them they're very reliable uh, they're easy to maneuver and you can do just about anything you can do with a single engine boat that you can with a twin it was a nice maneuver. We enjoyed our time in St. Petersburg, and uh, I've, I've gotten very comfortable maneuvering a single-engine boat, and you can too. So there you have it. No problem at all. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and leave comments, and share with everyone. Also, check out the interesting links in the description, especially the video, video from Sailing Nervous. Okay, we'll see you next time on The Onboard Life.